Rick Elliott's with me now. He's in charge of the entire fleet here at the Port of Portland. And you guys, last year, I believe, went through 60,000 gallons of biofuel. B20 bio, yes. Governor Schwarzenegger drove up to a new gas station in San Jose today, but this one pumps biodiesel and other low-carbon fuels. Shining the spotlight on uh, California's innovation, especially innovation that benefits our environment and that benefits our economy. Beyond uh, relying less on foreign countries for our energy supply, it is about creating jobs. It could create a lot of wealth within the local community. The answer might not lie in the local diner or clothing stores for that matter, but at gas stations, where a specific fuel has the potential to put farmers back to work. New Leaf Biofuel of Barrio Logan converts used cooking oil from a thousand local restaurants into biodiesel fuel, which it sells to distributors who market the fuel to companies such as Allied Waste of Chula Vista there. Eagles going green and looking to save some green in the process. The club announced today Lincoln Financial Field is set to become the greenest stadium in the world. Within the next year, they're hoping to put up wind turbines and solar panels to cover the roof and building a power plant that runs on biodiesel. And this double-decker bus is green. Drop it all the way down. And more ways than one. And then give it a shake. Yeah, give it a shake. Vegetable oil gets recycled into biodiesels. Oh, wow. Uh, the, the generator is... Biodiesel. The boiler room at the Pimlico Fire and Police Training Facility in Northwest Baltimore is burning cleaner fuel tonight. It's part of Baltimore's new plan to switch renewable biofuels in city boilers. It's going to be called the Green Line because we're focused on energy efficiency, renewable energy. Uh, we're going to try to use uh, soy diesel, for example, on the tracks. Maybe power the locomotive with, with biodiesel. The park's maintenance vehicles use B-50 year-round. American Idol news now. The season premiere of Idol kicks off one week from tonight right here on Fox 47. The same day, the show will launch Idol Across America. It's a biodiesel-fueled mobile experience tour traveling to 16 cities. President Obama signed the tax incentives package on Friday, and for some in agriculture, there's a Christmas bow on it. It includes extensions of ethanol and biodiesel tax credits. That means biodiesel plants are coming back online and expect to produce more than a billion gallons this year. State and federal tax breaks along with incentive programs have encouraged the use of biofuels in school districts nationwide. A focus on energy from plants and not petroleum. When I ride on the bus knowing that it's running on biodiesel fuel, it, it feels good because I'm make, it, it's making the earth better for everybody. Thank you, farmers! 